loves. Okay, so I did my nails on live last night. You probably saw that. But when I started shaping, I realized I made a mistake. And I wanted to record this because I feel like social media, um, they always make it seem like everything's perfect and that no one makes mistakes. Okay, and that's not that's not the truth, you know, like mistakes happen and um, you don't and you have to fix them. So I over filed on this finger right here. You see how I think it was just because I'm just so used to like straightening them out that the flare just kind of like threw me off a little bit. So what I have to do is I have to fix it. Now you can put a form back on and do it that way or the simple the simple way of doing it is just doing a dryer bead and then building out on what the free edge that you already have so i'm going to show you drain it out so that it's drier and you'll be able to shape better so let that set and then you're going to put it right here okay but what you're gonna do is instead of making it perfectly with the nail that is there you're going to extend that ledge and make it wider I don't want to mess up the ombre but I'm just gonna have to because you know, sometimes you make mistakes and this is how you're going to have to fix them. So you see how that ledge is coming out. You want to shape it and kind of uh, blend it in. I'm using my brush to kind of almost make a ledge okay i promise you this will look okay and i and i know obviously it it will work better if i was I, I wasn't doing an ombre nail you know what i'm saying like but shit happens and i over filed so now i have to fix it now i will have to you know shape this right here and fix it a little more but nonetheless i do have a wider nail now and it will look better now i need to cut that off though i don't want that part it, hold on let me just use my finger there we go so I built it out a little bit, but I still have to do a little bit more. So you want to slowly, this is like the same thing, same technique you would do with like a nail biter. If you wanted to extend their nail and make it look like a real nail, this is what you would do. So you want to put it right there. And extend it out the first one wasn't as good because I think I just added a little too much it's just because I have to try to keep the ombre also but I'm just gonna have to worry about the shape and then deal with the ombre later Okay, so it's flaring out. You just have to add to it. And I'm just trying to smooth it so that it goes at an angle. It's almost like you're sculpting, you know, like you just want to add that back. See how it's coming together? And it's a lot easier when you're honestly doing it on someone else, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do when you mess up a nail. You gotta do what you gotta do.
I probably actually should use uh the nude right here to be honest instead of the green to build out that part so you see how it's coming over full oval so it will extend and look like I never messed it up. It'll be a flare. It's just a little ugly right now just because of it was supposed to be an ombre. But I might just change it at this point and put more glitter and just kind of try to hide it. You know what I mean? You have to just hide the imperfections at this point. There's nothing you could really do. Okay, I'm going to let that dry and I'm going to get the nude that I used which was a slick pour where is it at damn it i'm so sick of my room it's just too crowded i'm like really hating this room that's why i like went upstairs but that room is crowded too so it's like i'm back down here i'm just getting frustrated my anxiety is like through the roof with these rooms i don't, uh, i just feel like I'm lost, you know, at this point. Okay, so I'm going to take a little bit of nude. Drain it. And I'm going to put it right here. Because even if it is a little bulky, I will um, file it. You know? I don't know where that black. I think it's from the mascara. I really hate that mascara. That shit is a pain in the ass. That mascara that I got. The Arthur mascara or whatever it is. It's trash. Like it looked good on. But getting it off is a pain in the ass. It is terrible. I should have never used this damn Young Nails. I'm just fixing this whole nail in general. I'm going to have to file the shit out of this nail. But you see how it's flared out? I'm glad that it is uh, going over. And I will use a little bit of clear to, um, you know, smooth it out. But, you know, just never fret and just like, just... Calm down. If you make a mistake, calm down for a second and just think of a solution. There's always a way to fix a problem with the nail, okay? You're never just like stuck where it's like, oh, I messed up so bad that I can't fix it. No, there's always ways to fix things. You know what I mean? Look at that. Yeah, do I have to file it a little bit? But I saved the nail, okay? Okay. And then I'm going to take a little bit of clear because obviously this is a color and I'm going to like fill it in a little bit so that it, um, it kind of like comes together. Like watch, I'm going to put a little right here. Oops, sorry. I probably wasn't in focus or on the camera. Okay, and then I'm dragging my brush like right across so that it pushes the acrylic closer to the ledge and then you can make sure it makes it stronger and I'm going to put a little on the bottom too just to patch it 
so that it doesn't look like there's like a like an imperfection in the nail now if you have the time to redo the whole nail do you but i don't want to do the whole nail over again so this is what i've decided to patch it up and just fix it y'all know look it flared right out and then i'll file that down and it'll look just fine i have to file this because i added a little too much right there but i would rather add a little too much right there and it be even because it'll go like this and then right there so but yeah i just wanted to show you guys real quick like you know if you guys ever make a mistake it's okay like there's a way to fix things there's always ways to fix things you know let it dry a little bit and then just push it ledge push ledge push the ledge you see that you see how you push it forward and you just bring it over to the ledge see and then you want to just kind of use your finger too and curve it you know so that it uh matches curve that match mm -hmm. there we go see and now it's done then you want to blend it there we go so it's all the way all the way wide like that so i could file it and it'll be at that angle that i want it to be at yeah it's a little thickums you know what i mean but i will file it down i'll show you right now and it'll be just fine now i'm just going to put a little bit of clear on the rest of this so that it's like more even you know like i kind of thickened it up the nail so i just want to i know it looks goofy right now but trust me it will work it'll be just enough because it just like went in a little bit so it's just gonna it's gonna be just enough to fix it that you won't be able to notice it i promise watch so that's why i'm letting you guys know mistakes do happen you know you overfile, you do this and that you could always fix it even if you used a nail tip you could still use acrylic and build it out you know like this doesn't just happen because it's formed you could oh this is another thing that i'm doing uh i put acrylic on this so i'm soaking this off like with a little bit of a uh, product just to like loosen it up a little bit just so i could like scrape it off easier it'll pop off after i'm done oh no damn it that's what i get okay my other one because it was just too oh i touched it damn it that's what i get for doing other things while i do this and once it gets really stiff you can just use your fingers to be honest so that it hardens just enough to make it Okay, let it dry, let it dry. Let it dry, let it dry. But yeah, um, I'm going to go, I'm going to file 
like actually use the e-file go around my cuticles and then i'm going to go on live and we are going to do um gems It's not done yet, but I'm trying to hurry up here. I want you guys to see, like. get it okay and it is all that is all folks Ugh. and then i'll take a buffer and really smooth it all out that I cut my damn
you guys don't want to skip this step like I mean you could even use this side it doesn't really matter to me I mean you don't want it I still have to put gems and all that on it actually though So you guys will see it on my social media. I will make sure to post them. I promise. I do have my TikTok back, you guys. They got they gave me Enchanted Valley nails back. So you know I gotta go hard. Improve myself. Nails just look so much nicer when they're smoothed out and just look good. This nail does still seem imperfect, but it's better than what it was. So I gotta. It would bother me if it didn't have like a flare at all. So I just gotta accept that it's better than it not having a flare at all. You know what I mean? I would have definitely did it a lot better and like really went in if it was like a client but y'all know i changed my nails like so much and i just don't really care enough to uh really do that much it won't bother me that much So yeah, I usually just buff the shit out of them like this, no particular way. I just kind of go over them until they look good. I just use both sides or I use a block and uh, that's it. You know, you don't want any kinks or anything because if you weren't putting gems on these, you know, yeah, a base coat or like a filler would help you, but don't you want your nails to look nice and smooth and like perfection? So, you want them to be nice and buffed, you know? Making sure they're smooth on the sides. Okay. Oh. Look how cute they're gonna look. Look how cute! Y'all know I like the pink kind of a little more, but I still like these orange and yellow ones a lot. I love like bright ass colors like this on nails. I've gotten these kind of colors since I was a teenager. I always would get like yellow, orange, pink, Frenchies. And that's like what I would get all the time. And that's that. So that's how you fix it, okay? I wanted to show you guys that just in case um, you guys, you know, make a mistake and you need to fix it. That is exactly how I fix it. Um, I'm not going to lie. I don't do it like often, you know, because most people under five. Like, but so just try to think of like, just remember to calm down. Don't freak out or anything. If you are, if you make a mistake and if you have to tell your client that,
just explain to them that it will only take an extra five minutes and maybe um, give them like 15% off their service next time or $10, $10 or you know what I mean? Like just do something nice, especially if they notice it. I would do that. Just, just saying. But all right, you guys, I just wanted to show you that it is fixed. Look at it. It's, you know, is it absolutely perfect? No, but I'm literally putting gems all over these. So it doesn't really matter anyway. So, in reality, I probably could have just put gems on that and flared it out. But I just wanted to fix it and show you guys that it can be done. So, I hope you guys have a good day. And um, you'll see the finished product when I do gem work and all that tonight. I love you guys. Bye.